and football memorabilia lost in a tornado years ago is given back to its owner. WVUA 23's Cameron Crow joins us live tonight uh, with more. Cameron. Jabari, Wesley Britt, former Alabama football player, is reunited with his football after the 2011 tornado. On April 27, 2011, former Alabama football player Wesley Britt's home was destroyed by a tornado in Tuscaloosa. Many of Britt's belongings were destroyed. A ball signed by all of his teammates in 2001 was one of the pieces of his memorabilia no longer in the home. Cecil Hurt, longtime Alabama sports writer for Tuscaloosa News, was making sure his neighbors were okay in the aftermath of the tornado when he came across the signed ball laying in his driveway. Hurt felt like the best thing he could do is bring the football to be displayed in the Bryant Museum. A year later, Britt spotted his old treasure. He was in the museum for, for, a, for a gathering and, and was looking at the exhibit that they had just finished on the tornado because, of course, his home was destroyed. And said, uh, he started, I think he started looking at the ball and said, that, that's, that's, that looks like one of our team you know, player balls. Britt said he asked to hold the ball. That's when he realized that his signature was not on it and that the ball was his. He allowed the ball to remain in the museum for the remainder of the tornado exhibit, and seven years later it was given back to him in a special ceremony. The Bryant Museum is used to receiving gifts from former players, but today the Bryant Museum gave a gift back to former Alabama football player Wesley Britt. In the tornado, we lost all of our memorabilia, including all the uh, footballs that I had signed every year by the teams I played with. And this one is the one that I probably most cherished. And uh, to have that back in my possession is, is a really neat thing. And this will be in a special place. It's got uh, two unbelievable stories now. The, the ball is said to have flown almost five miles. Hurt and Britt joked it was probably the longest pass in Alabama history. Live tonight in the studio, Cameron Crow, WVUA 23 News.